Hello, everyone. My name is Jace Marino, and I wanted to share with you one of maybe the least sexy topics, but one of the most important things that you can use in Microsoft Teams in order to reduce some of that noise and make sure that you're bringing the most important information and conversations and content that's being shared in Teams to you every day. Because we've listened to a lot of our customers, and while Teams has been the fastest growing application that Microsoft's ever launched, and the momentum is incredible, it's also a different way of working. It can also become overwhelming if you don't rein in some of the notifications. And so I want to show you why this is one of my favorite features of Teams that's made my work life infinitely easier. And so first, I'm going to start with the way that you can organize your Teams and channels. So if you notice here inside of Teams, I'm on the Teams tab, and you've got two options to how you can organize your Teams. You've got hidden Teams, and you've got your favorite teams right here. Now, the way you can organize these as such is for each one of these teams, so these are my nine favorite teams right here, if you hit the ellipses over here on the right, you can press hide, or alternatively, if it's a hidden team, I can go back to that same group, uh, what was it, teams adoption, and I can press show. And all of the teams that I've hit and press show automatically show up in my favorites and the rest stay down here and hidden. All right. So that's first. Second is aesthetically, I can also choose the order of my teams in the favorites. So I can pull up my top teams in order of the ones that I'm using most often. Frankly, this is just an aesthetically pleasing way to structure your teams, but just so you know, you can do this. Now, the next iteration then is you can also structure your channels. Uh, this is a bad example. Let me go back here. This is our team's adoption team that our customer success group works on. And I've got, as you can see here, shown channels when I drop down to my channels, and then I've got some hidden channels. And much like with the teams earlier, I can actually go into the hidden channels, hover above a channel and hit show. And note that when I do this, customer best practices is gonna show up here in a moment uh, in my shown channels. And I can structure those, there it is right there. And I can structure my channels for each team when I drop it down in the way that I like. So again, this is all aesthetic, just to get started and make things easier. Now, one new feature that we have is that I can also pin channels. Now, I look after Teams platform for our customer success group. I own this channel right here and all the content that goes into it. And let's say that I wanna have easy access to this so I don't need to go in every time to the team's adoption team, drop down and find this channel. I can hit the ellipses on the team's platform channel and I can pin it. And note that what'll happen is I'll have a set of pin channels that come up here. So if we summarize the way that I've structured this right here, I'm actually a part of 42 Teams teams, and I've got a little bit of a delay. You'll see the pin come up in a second. But I'm a part of 42 Teams teams. Nine of them are on my favorites. The rest of the, what's that math here, 33, sit in my hidden teams. Now, this is really important because you can't be across everything that happens in teams. There's no way you can pay attention to every single matches that happens in every team. And you shouldn't approach teams that way. So we focus on the aesthetic view on this first. Let me try that pin one more time because that wasn't showing up. I'm going to go ahead and pin the platform channel. There it is. So again, we focus on the aesthetic view here first. Now I'm going to go into the real game changer, which is the notifications. So if you go up and you click on your picture on the top right-hand side of your Teams client and you hit settings, yours may not look exactly like mine is because I'm on an early engineering build. But if you go into notifications, you should be able to scroll down and see an option for shown and pinned channels. Now, this is a way that you can blanket default settings to those channels that are shown when you hit the drop down on each one of your teams. And so I've got a couple options here. I can determine whether or not I want to get a notification and that notification will show up in your activity feed. I'll show you in a moment. But whether or not I want to get a notification every time there's a new post in the team. My advice would be only do this with a handful of teams. As I mentioned earlier, I'm in 42 teams. I have nine of them as favorites. I only follow new posts in four channels and I'm probably part of a thousand of them. All right, so it's really important to only do this on the channels that you want to be across everything that happens. Now you can also choose if you want to have your notification show up, whether you want it to show up in the banner and a feed. Just for clarity, banner is the notification pop-up in the bottom right-hand side of the screen and your feed is your activity feed, the very top left-hand side um, tab that you have called activity. You can have these only show up in the feed. This is what I do. There's no right or wrong here, but I don't like the notification pop-ups all the time. It distracts me or I can turn them off like I have here. Now, if I turn one of these on, I can also include all replies. Now, you're going to get a lot of messages showing up in your activity feed if you do this. But again, for the right channel, it might make sense for you. And then finally, channel mentions. This is whenever somebody at mentions the channel, 
whether or not I will get a notification. And again, for here, I've chosen to only have these show up in my feed. So that blanket defaults my settings for all of my shown and pinned channels. And once again, shown and pinned channels are the ones that when I click on Teams Adoption here, these are the shown and pinned channels for me. Okay, so you can adjust those as I showed earlier to, to meet your specifications. Now that in itself will be a game changer for you because a lot of your most important information now will come up into this activity tab right here. And this is the first thing that I check every morning is my activity tab. Now I'm not gonna show you mine because I'm part of our team's engineering team. And sometimes there's notifications on there that I'm not allowed to show. Um, one thing I will say, when you go into your activity tab, there is a filter button and there's a filter for at mentions. That's anytime you or a channel that you're involved in has been at mentioned. That is the best, most important way to, way to focus on your most important information, assuming that your organization's tagging appropriately. Now, one step further on here. I mentioned earlier that you can follow specific channels. I have four channels that I follow every single new post. So again, I mentioned earlier, I look at Teams platform right here and I, I run this channel. If you actually go into the ellipses on the channel itself and hit channel notifications, I can set the same settings just for this individual channel. Note that it's saying Teams Adoption, which is the team, Teams Platform, which is the channel. And note that, oh, I actually must have turned these off in a demo and not actually turned them back on. But anytime there's a new post, this will show up in my feed now. And anytime the, the, the channel's mentioned, it'll show up in my feed. Now, one thing to note, this is what happens. Let, let's take a step back for a second. If you look at all of my teams and channels, again, I've, I'm a member of 42 teams. Nine of them are sitting right here in my favorites. 33 are sitting down here in my hidden teams. I have four channels where I follow every single notification. The way that I've set the rest of this up is for these nine teams right here in my favorites, I will only get a notification up in my activity feed if I have been specifically at mentioned or if the channel I'm in has been specifically at mentioned. And for the 33 hidden teams that I'm a part of, I will get a notification only if I have been at mentioned myself, not the channels or teams themselves. So really important to understand here how I'm reducing this noise and making sure that the most important content and information is hitting my activity feed right here. Now I can always go in and look at this information if I want to and open up channels and start to look at content and information, but it's not important given the context of this conversation. So I hope that was helpful. Give me a shout in the uh, responses if you have any questions.